Well, it's not just people right now, as we know, who are affected by COVID-19, obviously people being the majority, but a part of the San Diego Zoo Safari Park is shut down right now after what's believed to be a COVID outbreak among some of their tigers. On Fox 5's Misha DeBono, she's live at the Safari Park with much more on that. And Misha, this is not the first time we've heard about animals getting COVID-19. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It certainly is not. So the uh, Tiger Trail exhibit here at the Wild Animal Park is closed to the public for the foreseeable future after a group of um, Sumatran tigers, they believe, were exposed to coronavirus, tested positive on initial tests that they did in-house here. Now, according to a spokesperson here with the park, some of their six Sumatran tigers showed symptoms of coughing and fatigue. They were tested in-house, as I say, and those tests did come po back positive. So now those samples will be sent to the National Veterinarian Services Laboratory for confirmation. We are told because the tigers live in such close quarters, when one is sick, they assume that they are all sick. Now, this is not the first time that animals at the safari park or the zoo have been contracted coronavirus. A troop of gorillas here at the safari park made a full recovery after being diagnosed in January. And last week, two snow leopards at the zoo had tested positive as well. They too, we are told, have made a full recovery. It's unclear exactly how the animals were exposed. As for the tigers, though, we are told that they're not showing any signs or concerning signs of illness other than some coughing, fatigue, occasional decreased appetite. None have required any treatment so far either. There's no timetable on how long the tiger trail exhibit will be closed to the public as they work to learn more about what these uh, when and how they were exposed. But the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance, which oversees both, has been working to vaccinate all the animals at both parks, starting with those that are most susceptible. That's the large cats the gorillas primates. We are told though that most have had their first dose so far. Just like people though, they do need to wait uh, you know, a few weeks before they get their second dose and that is when full immunity would kick in. So coming up, we're going to learn more about this vaccination protocol and why it's so important for animals just as it is for us. It is a different type of vaccine, I am told. So we're going to dive a little deeper into that coming up. For now though, we are live in Escondido. Misha DeBono, Fox 5 News. All right, Misha, thank you.